Hey, this is Math 6, Unit 3, Lesson 13. Looking at what we call benchmark percentages today, these are some ones that you just kind of want to get in your head for what they are. Um, just kind of ones to memorize, almost like math facts, but math facts for percentages, okay? So first we begin with what percentage is shaded here, and it wants just to know what percent is shaded. So when we take a look at the first one, we can see that there are 10 equal uh, parts here. So we know that there are one out of 10 boxes shaded in, which gives us the decimal 0 0.10, which becomes 10%. So know that one tenth is generally 10%, right? Over here, we have one of the two boxes, or a half, right? And a half as a decimal is written as 0 0.50. So as a percentage, that becomes 50%. On level on number C, we have three of them shaded out of four. Three fourths as a decimal becomes 0.75. As a percentage, that becomes 75%. So these are some basic percentages you just wanna kinda of get in your head for how much they actually are, okay? So let's take a look then at the next little activity. This is a quick little lesson today, so it shouldn't take us long. Liters, meters, hours. How much is 50% of 10 liters of milk. So it's like taking the 10 and 50% is cutting that in half, right? So what is half of 10? Because it's 10 times a half, cutting it in half, becomes 5. So 50% of 10 liters is going to be 5 liters. We're cutting this into sections of 5. When I do 50% of 2,000, again I'm chopping that in half and it's like taking 2,000, multiplying it by a half, and half of 2,000 is simply 1,000, okay? This becomes a segment of 1,000, segment of 1,000. And how long is 50% of a 24-hour day? Again, it's 24 hours, and I'm dividing it in half to get 50%, and 50% of 24 is 12. So how can you find 50% of any number? Well, we would say that 50% of a quantity, so any number, is half of that quantity. Okay? So 50% of any number is half of that number, is basically what we're saying here. So 50% of 10 is half of 10. 50% of 2,000 is half of 2,000. 50% of 24 is half of 24. And that's the way that fraction is going to work for 50%. Okay? Let's take a look at 10%. How far is 10% of a 10,000 kilometer trip? Well, 10% is multiplying a number by one tenth. Or, another way of thinking about it, is removing the decimal one position to the left, one place to the left. So 2,000 becomes 200. So 200 is 10 percent. I'm going to take a look at 10 percent of 10. That's 10 times 1 10. Or again, move the decimal one place to the left, which means it becomes 1. So 10 percent of 10 is 1. 10 percent of 24. Or well, here's 24. And if I do 10 percent of 24, oops, sorry, I'm going to do 24 times 1 over 10, which is like moving the decimal over one spot. So we end up with 2.4. So what is, how can you find 10% of any number? 10% of a quantity is one-tenth of that quantity. And we like doing the one-tenth because it allows you just to move the decimal over one place value. And the last one here for this one, uh, number three, how long is 75% of a 24-hour day? 75%, we already established, was 3 fourths. So we're doing 3 fourths of a 24-hour day. So I can do some uh, divide, or some, uh, sorry, reducing. And 4 goes into 24 6 times. And 3 times 6 is going to be 18. So 75% of 24 hours is 18, right? It's like multiplying 24. I could think of it 24 times 3 fourths. Or if you're a decimal person, I could think of it being 75 or 0.75 times 
times 24, right? Those both equal 18. If I do 3 fourths of a 2,000 kilometer rate trip, 3 fourths times 2,000, again, I can reduce this. 4 is going to go into 2,000 500 times. And 3 times 500 is going to be 1,500 kilometers. Think of it this way, right? If this is 2,000 and I chop it in half, right? The whole thing is 2,000, chop it in half. Now I have a 1,000 and a 1,000. 3 fourths means chopping that in half, right? And taking three of them. This becomes a 500, a 500, a 500, and a 500. And I'm just keeping three of them. So that becomes 1,500 there. Now, 3 fourths, or 75%, 3 fourths of 10. I can reduce. 4 goes into here. Or 2 goes in there 2 times. 2 and then goes in there 5 times. So I end up with 15 over 2, a little bit of a different number, which of the decimal is 7.5. So 75% of 10 liters of milk is 7.5 liters. So how can I find 75% of a number? 75% of a quantity or a number or whatever is 3 fourths of that quantity. So it's the same pattern, right? 50% of a quantity is half of it, 10% of a quantity is one tenth of it, and 75% of a quantity is 3 fourths of it. All right, so let's take a look at activity three, where it says, Explain how you can calculate each value mentally. All right, so I have to write some stuff down so you can kind of see and follow what I'm thinking in my head. So nine is 50% of what number? All right, so if nine is half of a number, what I want to think about is if 50% is half, what's the reciprocal of a half? The reciprocal would be times two. So I'm going to think nine times two to get me the 100% number, which would be 18, right? So if this is nine and 50%, then the whole thing would be two nines for 18 altogether, okay? So nine though, next one, nine is 25% of what number? Hmm, and that's a little different. Now 25% is a one fourth. Well, if half to go the other way is multiplying by two, then the reciprocal of multiply of times one fourth would be multiply by four. So let's try nine times four, which equals thirty six. So nine is twenty five percent of thirty six, and we can see that here like this. We could take thirty six and we can divide it into four equal segments. Not a very good picture, I know. And thirty six divided by four is nine. So I end up with nine, nine, and nine, and this is twenty five percent. So nine is indeed 25% of 36 right there. All right, and the next one, nine is 10% of what number? Again, 10% is found by doing 1 tenth. So the reciprocal of that is multiplying by 10. So nine times 10 is 90. And if you thought about 10%, we would move it over there and that's how we get nine. Nine is 75% of what number? This one's a little different, right? Nine is 75% whenever. Think of it like our tape diagram if you need to. And we take it into four segments. And we have nine being 75% of a number. All right, and that's my nine right there. So that nine is divided into three parts. Nine divided by three is three. So I have every one of these values is three, leaving one more three right there for a total of how much? 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 12. So I could think of this as 9. I know that 75% is 3 fourths. The reciprocal would be 4 thirds. So I could think of it mentally as 9 times 4 thirds. 3 goes into 9 3 times, and 3 times 4 is 12. And then finally, 9 is 150% of what number? 150%. 150%. Okay. Um, again, thinking about a hundred and then another 50, right? If this is a hundred percent, I take nine 
and I'm going to divide it into three segments. 9 divided by 3 it is going to be 3. So I end up with every segment being 3 for a total of 9, right? So 9 total is 150% of 100%. 100% is just going to be this chunk right there, which is 3 plus 3, which is 6. So it's sometimes helpful to draw the tape diagram, but it's good to kind of get an idea in your head for how these are going to work out. Okay? All right. I'm going to stop right there. Let's look at the summary, and then we'll go on to tonight's homework. So certain percentages are easy to think about in terms of fractions, right? So one fourth is 25%, a half is 50, three fourths is 75%, and so on. So they gave us some examples there. We can also find multiples of 10% using tenths. So like 70% of a number is seven tenths of that. All right, and so if we wanted to find 70% of 30 days, it's 7 tenths of 30, and we could do the work on that to figure out where that would be. All right, so we're going to pause there, and we're going to do some practice with this on tonight's homework assignment. All right, homework. How can you find 50% of a number quickly in your head? Well. Hopefully we have the idea here. You wrote something like divide by 2. 50% of a number is dividing it by 2. Andre lives 1.6 kilometers from school. What is 50% of 1.6? Now you might have looked here and said, well, ah, it's a decimal. What am I going to do? Think of it this way. Don't worry so much about the decimal part. Think if the decimal wasn't there, it's like the number 16, right? You okay with that? Well, what's half of 16? Half of 16 would be 8. Now, I know there's still a decimal there, so the answer is not going to be 8. But what I end up with, then, is 0.8. I just put the decimal back in this place, and I have 0.8 there. Diego lives half a mile from school. What is 50% of a half a mile? So we're taking a half of a mile, and we are dividing it by 2. We're multiplying it by a half. A half times a half is actually one-fourth. Number two, it says there's a 10% off sale on laptop computers. If someone saves $35 on a laptop, what was the original price? Okay, so it saved $35, and $35 was 10%. So the question is, what is 100%? Well, we consider here, to go from 10 to 100 is multiplying by 10, so 35 times 10 is 350. And we can see that 10% is moving the decimal over one spot, and there's your $35 savings, right? So the original price was 350. Number three, how would you calculate these mentally? 15 is what percentage of 30? Well, 15 we know is half of 30, right? 15 out of 30 is half. Now half is always equal to 50%. 3 is what percentage of 12? 3 out of 12 is the same as 1 out of 4, which is one of our benchmark ones, 25%. And then finally, 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10 reduces to, uh, we could say 2 goes in here 3 times, and 2 goes in here. Well, actually, I won't do that. Let's not do that there. Let's leave it 6 tenths. Why? Because we know that 1 tenth is 10%, right? 1 tenth is 10%, and we have 6 of them, so 10 times 6 is 60%. All right? Number 4. Noah says that to find 20% of a number, he divides the number by 5. Divides the number by 5. For example, 20% of 60 is 12, because 60 divided by 5 is 12. Does his method work? Okay? Well, he's dividing a number by 5 to show that it's 20%. Let's think about our tape diagram before. When we had 100% of something, we were dividing it into five equal segments for 100% to show that every segment was 20%. So 20% is indeed, 20% is one fifth, right, of 100%. So by dividing a number by five, you do end up with 20%. Uh, so, if we take a number like 60, 
and we do 60 is 12, so, so for example, 20% 20 20 of 60 is 12. Well, if we do 60 divided by five, you do get 12, and that works out well. And that would work out here. If we put the 60 right there, and we did 60 divided by, by five, we would say every one of these is 12. And sure enough, 12 times five is 60. Yes, he's right, it works every time. All right, Diego has 75% off $10. Noah has 25% off $30. Diego thinks he has more money than Noah, but Noah thinks they have an equal amount of money. Who is right? All right, so Diego has 75% of $10. So 75% is 3 fourths of $10. So we can take the two goes in here two times, two goes in here five times. 5 times 3 is 15 over 2, and 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 or 7.50. For Noah, he has 25% or 1 fourth of 30, and four goes in, 2 goes in here 2 times, 2 goes in here 15 times, and so 15 divided by 2 is 7.50. So what do we see? They actually have the same amount of money. So 75% of 10 is 750, and 25% of 30 is also 750. Let's take a look at our last one, number six here. It says that Lynn and Andre start walking toward each other at the same time from opposite ends of a 22 mile walking trail. Lynn walks at a speed of 2.5 miles per hour, and Andre walks at a speed of three miles per hour. Here's a table showing the distances traveled and how far apart they were over time. Okay. So initially, they were 22 miles apart. Now in the first hour, Lynn goes 2.5 miles, Andre goes three miles. So combine those together, that means they go a distance of a combined 5.5. When I do 22 minus 5.5, I end up with 16.5, okay? In two hours, we're gonna double this. So instead of 2.5, 2 times 2.5 is 5, and 2 times 3 is 6, they've gone a total of 11 miles. So I can think about it as 11, so 22 minus 11 means that they are now 11 miles apart. After 3 hours, they've gone 3 times 2.5 is going to be 7.5, and 3 times 3 is 9, they've gone a total of 16.5 miles. Well, 22 minus 16.5 is 5.5 miles. Boy, that looks like pretty good because that have they can do that one more. So in four hours, this guy has gone 10 and this one has gone 12 for a total of 22, right? And 22 minus 22 is equal to zero. So you can see how much closer they are after a few hours and eventually after four, they meet each other. That's it for today. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.